Stock. Hello, in this video lesson we will consider a well-known and widely used in the trading practice stochastic oscillator. Stochastic was developed in the 50s years of the last century by George Lane, and its main idea consists in the thesis that in the rising market conditions the closing prices are usually closer to the maximum price over some period of time, and in the falling market conditions Quite the opposite, the prices are closer to the minimum price over the same period of time. A stochastic calculation method takes into account not only closing prices, but also maximum and minimum prices over the selected period of time. Stochastic oscillator undoubtedly contains much more information than any other oscillator. As stochastic is an oscillator, it is included into the set of indicators of the InstaTrader platform. It is very easy to add this indicator to your terminal screen while working in the InstaTrader platform. For doing this, you need to open the list of indicators in the Navigator panel menu and then drag it directly to the diagram or just click the left mouse button twice on it. In both cases, a dialog box displaying the indicator parameters will appear on your screen. You may leave these parameters, correct them manually, or return standard settings by clicking the Reset button. The main parameters of stochastic oscillator are The percent %k period is a period of the stochastic main line, which is often painted as a solid line. Deceleration is a parameter which determines the degree of internal flatness of the stochastic main line, which is drawn with a percentage k period. If we use the deceleration which equals 1, we will get a so-called rapid stochastic. If the deceleration equals 3, we will get a slow stochastic. The percent %d period is a period which used for calculation of the moving average percent %k line, which is often drawn as a dashed line. The MA method is a method of simple exponential or other type of smoothing which is used in the percent %d line calculation. Visually, on the screen stochastic is represented by two lines, which periodically intersect and move within the range from 0 to 100. Stochastic can send different signals about changes on the market. As an oscillator, stochastic demonstrates us overbought or oversold situation by being in respective zones. A zone above the level 80 is an overbought zone. If the stochastic main line is located above this level, it means that the market is overbought and there is a probability of deceleration or the end of an upward movement with the following turn down. A zone below level 20 is an oversold zone. If the stochastic main line is located below this level, it means that the market is oversold. And there is a probability of deceleration or the end of a downward movement with the following turn upward. If the stochastic oscillator is located above the level 80 or below the level 20, a trader should be especially attentive and watch over the oscillator's behavior. If after stochastic gets to the overbought or oversold zone, it leaves this zone. It may be a reason for opening a position in the direction indicated by stochastic. The diagram shows how stochastic gets to the overbought or oversold zones and then leaves them, and it confirms appropriate price movement of a currency pair. Very often such price movements can be rather significant. The stochastic line's cross is another signal encountered very often. In order to make the main stochastic line easier to understand, we will call the percent %k line the rapid line and the dashed percent %d line will be called the slow line. Stochastic sends signals for buying when the rapid line crosses the slow line from the bottom upwards. The signals for selling are sent when the rapid line crosses the slow line from the top downward. Let's look at the examples on the diagram. We can see how the stochastic lines cross 
sends a trader a signal about local price movements in a currency pair. Such signals can be used both independently and in a complex with signals of other technical indicators. When analyzing the stochastic oscillator, it is necessary to pay attention to the divergence between the oscillator and the price. The divergence is a situation when the prices indicated on the diagram show new and much higher peak or much lower cavity, but stochastic doesn't confirm their presence and forms much lower peak and much higher cavity. The divergence between the stochastic and the price is a strong signal, so it is better not to neglect it. Let's examine such situations using examples. The first example shows how the price forms a new high peak, but the stochastic does not confirm it. Please know that oscillator's peaks are practically horizontal and have only a little downward incline. Nevertheless, even if the stochastic peak's heights were equal, it would have been considered as a divergence situation because the ascending peaks of the price diagram are not confirmed by the stochastic peaks. The next diagram at once shows several divergences between the stochastic oscillator and the price. Please note how effective the stochastic analysis may be in the context of the divergence situation search. And here is one more remarkable example. This time there is a threefold divergence. Three sequentially rising peaks on the price diagram are not confirmed by the oscillator. As a result, we can see an accurate downward movement according to the stochastic signal. Working with the stochastic, it is necessary to remember that if a trend is abrupt and strong, the stochastic lines may get to the overbought and oversold zones too fast and send false signals leaving these zones. That is why it is necessary to combine the stochastic analysis with other indicators analysis. Nevertheless, operating within the flat, which is a no-trend market, the stochastic is probably one of the best oscillators which sends signals about possible price withdrawal from this condition in a proper time. Here on, we finish introduction to the stochastic oscillator. InstaForex company wishes you successful trading. Goodbye.